What's up guys, it's your boy Turnbuster65 back up in this and today we are once again on Slay the Spire. This time we are doing our video on the Watcher which is the last character to game. So we started out first with the Ironclad, then moved on to the Silent, then did the Defect, and now we're doing the Watcher. As you can see the Watcher is the last character you unlocked. And you unlock this character once you do the first boss. It's either the first boss of the defect, or you have to complete a run with one of these characters first. Whichever one of those is the scenario. Going over its keys for using the Watcher, we have Stances, Retain, Scry, and Card Creation. Now to go over those briefly can be into three different stances, other than normal stance of course whichever character is in inherently. You have Wraith, which is red, a fire, kind of a, a reddish stance that doubles your attack damage, but also doubles the amount of damage you take. Calm, which places you into just a calm, blue, light blue stance that upon exiting the stance gains you two energy or three energy if you have a certain relic. And then Divinity, where you have to build up 10 mantra which is a separate stat in itself exclusive towards the watcher where you build that up as soon as you get 10 or more mantra you get three energy and then for every other 10 mantra you stack up over time you kept getting that three energy but at the end of your turn you leave the stance i'm gonna go ahead get straight down to it get some gameplay of the watcher I messed up a little bit here, and so we're gonna get the starting two options for this, which is perfectly fine. Oh, no, really? Oh, that's very forgiving. Because I accidentally started up a run, and I thought I was gonna mess me up, but it didn't. So, I'm gonna get to it, and show you quickly the starting cards for the Watcher, which has four strikes, four defends, and then you're gonna get Eruption, which puts you into Wraith, deals nine damage there. Vigilance, which Get you eight block and enter calm. And then technically there's a third starting card, which I think the, I think the watcher is the only one that has three starting cards. I say technically three because as you see right here, this miracle pops up thanks to its relic, which is called pure water. At the start of each combat, you add a miracle into your hand. With this miracle, you can retain it in your hand and what retaining means is you just keep it in your hand. You don't discard it at the end of your turn. You gain energy upon using it. That energy is not stored. You can so if you don't use it this turn, you can do it then on another turn. No, you have to apply it into the same turn that you want the energy for. So right now I can use miracle and attack it again here on this slime. But I have a feeling it would be better if I wait to utilize it later. One thing with the Watcher is I don't like using Miracle too much because I feel if I use it in certain situations, I'm going to regret, regret it later in battle. So that's one thing I do struggle on with the Watcher. Also, I forgot to mention about the card list, but you'll see the card list rolling around while I'm talking about... While I'm introducing the Watcher. Golly. There we go. Yep, that's pro straight right here. As you see, we'll get introduced to Mantra shortly. Take that little donut from the big fish. Now let's go ahead and do this the proper way. Yeah. So you can see right here, I'm entering Wraith. And you saw that strike did double damage, but now look at that, that's 12. Normally the cultist does six upon the first attack. And then with the the ritual build up against three attack three more strength rather not three attack per turn so if i was out of wraith it would have done six instead of 12. however because i had enough attack cards and enough attack to complete it or defeat it ugh, my tongue is not tonguing right now yeah we'll transform i'm gonna get rid of one of these Oh, not not the upgraded strikes. Oh, definitely not the upgraded strikes. That would be worse. And I get that, which is a great the signature move. Great to have. Great to have, especially if you're in Wraith. 
because it does double damage. Could have chose to upgrade it, but I'm gonna go with Eruption because now the cost is one, so instead of just swapping out energy, if I ever go from Calm to Wraith, because you can transfer between stances. You don't need to exit a stance first in order to go to another one. You can just straight up enter stances at will and exit stances. And if you utilize them right, there are cards that are based around how many times you enter and exit a stance. I hate being frail. Also be a little more strategic while I'm doing this with y'all. I usually just, I'm a little bit reckless. I like to hold on to my potions. I like to hold on to this miracle. Yeah, keep building up that. There we go. Let me get them down to the same, or to similar HP. So now, I can just take them out like that. Because if I battle him, do this. I can't win with this. I'm gonna take damage somewhere or another from something. Yeah, I'll do this. Kill this one. Let me do this. We'll do this. As long as this model lover doesn't give that defense, cool. I'll kill that. Bang. And then you see right here the signature move. It can only be played if this is the only attack in your hand, so. If you have an attack in your hand, you can't use it. Which is not the opposite, but it's a different effect from Clash of the Ironclad, where if you only have attacks in your hand, you can play it. So you require to take an attack. Hmm. Let's go for a boss. I mean, an elite. I'm trying to stop myself from saying boss, but it can happen in time. It happened. Gosh dang it, don't Hulk smash on me now. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's okay. So if I... Hmm. 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 Eh, actually, yeah. Yep, yep. The math, math right there. Yeah, I'll show y'all in a second right here. Whoop. Boom. Oh, the math, math, perfectly. Okay. The math, math, all right. You did all right. Math, math, beautifully. Yeah. Flying sleeves. You know what? Let me do this. Let me get some additional strength. We only took 17 damage. Really no reason to rest. Now doing these ascensions, these mod levels, uh, I didn't have never much realized how much of a difference one. Ah, oh, frick. I'm gonna use both to take you out. I didn't realize how much of a different strength is, even though it's just one. So instead of doing nine, they do ten. If you do a certain ascension level, which from ascension level four and beyond, that makes a difference. Ship. We're gonna have to take you out. Yeah. We're gonna take you out. Sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry, Fafty. Yeah, do that and that. I'm having that one strength there. That really works in terms of the wraith. And then with stances, you can go different directions. I like to have a variety of changing stances. This time we're going a little heavy towards the eruption side. Hmm. Ooh, that, that can just kill that model. And then just a fan. That's about it. I'm gonna get the mental fortress. Well, the mental fortress would have done less. Cause instead of me defending there, I would have. Yeah, that's just a difference of one damage. Flurry of blows. We're going with stance build. It's gonna reflect heavily upon stances. We got a little retain in there as well. The watcher is really fun. <laughs> You can do multiple things with it. Now, who's the slime? That could be good. 
for the slime boss. And I'm play. I'm gonna be real risky right here. Go up my strength again. Go into slime boss. Right off the gate, huh? Screw it. If it's gonna be like this right off the gate. Now, I wanted to just flex potion, but I'm glad I didn't because otherwise I would have triggered that splitting if I did that flex po potion. But no. I don't mind that. Oh my lord, I killed that in two turns. That's the fastest I ever killed the slime boss. No lie. I almost did the turn one thing with the boss. <laughs> I almost did it. I think that's a legit achievement thing. Killing a boss in one turn. Ship. Let's go with the tiny house. I almost wanted to bust the crown, which would have given me extra additional energy per turn, but it removed two options from choosing a card, whenever from card rewards, so I'll only get one option. And I don't like that. Let's get another sash whip. Why not? I'm not even sure what got upgraded. Oh, look, look at that. A defend. Even more reason to keep these freaking cards. So now half my starter cards are half? A little less than half. It's about half. Close enough. Close enough. Well, might as well. I'm saving onto the juice so I can heal. That's a free heal right there. Don't want to be racing that. We'll do that. And hopefully through some of these bouts, I get to show you the wonderful world of Mantra. Which I, I wish it would show you the stat of the Mantra you got right there instead of just looking below. But I believe that says four. Should say four. Eee. I'm gonna hate myself for what I'm gonna do here. You're gonna see it. Yeah. Not enough. But I'll do, Donkey. Unless... Yeah. Oh! That's enough. I got lucky right there. <laughs> I couldn't tell because of the base damage of the card. I had a difficult time when it comes to getting, buying stuff or doing cards because I tend to do certain strategies and then the game presents you with other stuff. So you then go, all right, well, I'm just going to do this strategy instead and then see what we can do. I'm going to remove a card because I'm getting, remove this strike. Look at this thing right here. Look look how phallic it is. Like it's, it's got the Venus flytrap, those little carnivorous limbs, and then this brain jello thing that you can mistake for the head of a certain certain genitalia. I'm leaving out that. Uh, Let, me get Let me get risky. Let me get risky. There we go. Come on. Boom. Ah, 15. Oh, damn. Ah! Uh, time to play Liquid. And... Kill it. Yep. Once again, not taking damage. I love it. Ugh. In Ascension levels, I would not be getting away with this, but I am here. I gotta get that card. I don't need it. Never be afraid to not take a card if it doesn't look good to you. In the car rewards, just never be afraid to do that. It's more beneficial down the road. And you'll get times where maybe you should have taken it, but trust me, it's better to not take a card if it'll ruin your strategy than it is to take a card just because you didn't get what you want in the car rewards. <sighs> oh yeah, this teardrop locket. It's the reason why you see me starting out in calm each combat now because I got the teardrop locket. And in here, this is... Okay, I thought I showed three instead of two. This is just showing you the details of what happens when you exit. Come... That... That... Let's see. It's gonna do 30, so that's gonna kill that. Let's see... What happens there? Okay, that can be killed by that. So let me do this. Let me do this. Boom. Alright. I'm gonna take four damage. I could have used a miracle. 
Yeah, let's see. That that moment right there, I could have definitely used a miracle, save myself four damage, but again, I'm just I'm very cautious when it comes to using that. Because I don't want to regret using it down the line. Oh, this mile of it. Yeah. You know what? Get 90 gold. Get some more. I'm in front of a fireplace, so. Get some more. Alright, let me leave. And then I'm just gonna get my health right back. Could have left the leap immediately and probably given myself some more strength, but. Because that was the perk of the. D. Gearia relic I got. Which you can do that up to three times at a rest, stop, or a campfire instead of resting or smithing. I was about to say smiting. Okay, we get six. Do this. This. And then I know I'm gonna take a hit for this, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll just do that. Ooh, this is gonna be a big attack. I'm gonna heal it. Sorry, it doesn't need to be healed, but whatever. Let's do this. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right, right, right here. I'm gonna use the miracle so I can kill this thing. Don't need to take any more unnecessary damage. Ooh. No good so far. Really? Hmm. Up. Yeah, it's a difficult play. Difficult play. I hate dealing with this mod lover just because of this seven by three. For some reason, this is more difficult than some of the enemies in the Act Three. For me, this is probably this is definitely a top five, top five hardest enemy to deal with, non-boss enemy to deal with. I should disclaim that out there. There, definitely, almost all the bosses are more difficult to deal with this enemy. There's only, I would say, all the Act 1 bosses are generally easy. Yeah, alright, anyway. Uh, oh, I'm gonna hate myself. I'm gonna escrow. Well, we didn't come here to be pussy. We came here to be entertaining, alright? And that means I gotta take some damage. I'll take the damage gladly. Because I'm learning experience. Learning experience, okay. This, boom, boom. All right. So I get the rush down because I got the wraith. I got the wraith strategy on lock, but I feel like it's just it's taking up space. Now some of you are probably gonna be screaming at me for that, but hey. Oh frick! Well, I guess I'm removing another card by force. All right, Sash whoop. All right, well, got five HP. See how much that 5 HP lasts me. I should have just got, probably got rid of battle him. I know, I know. Wouldn't give me up to full max HP, but it is what it is. Here. Uh, it's not really a point of blowing off attack this early. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see if the, the defect has a card that easily gets rid of this mod level. But because we're not the defect, I'm gonna do the next best thing, which is ah, <sighs> frick. Yeah. We're gonna take some dam. We're gonna take some dam. Ship. All right. So, oh, that's what we're gonna do. Now this is gonna be pointless, so I might as well do this here now. It's not pointless, is I'm gonna go about to attack, so do that. Eh, 28. Do that. 24. Okay. Have enough to kill you both. Whew. Beautiful. Right, let's get another mantra, because why not? We're just. That's our mantra, is getting mantra. Hmm. I'm hoping to get to the infinity before we get, well, push comes to so shove. Nah, this is a stance potion. Where I can choose between calm and wreath. So not exactly what I want, but we got a boss. I'm glad to see this boss. Oh, frick. 
Well, I'm gonna hold on to the sleeves because I wanna see if I can get the rape with it. I can do that with that mob. Let's do that. Let's do this. This. I can get rid of one of these mollups early. No, I can't. Uh, Alright, let's hold on. Dang, a retain thing? Really? Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. And indignation. Wow, damn. Ah, oh, just when I was gonna get the tantrum. That's funny. Perfect timing, though. Yeah. Get rid of one of you. Let's see. 12. So I don't have to retain things, no point in getting that, but no. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, 24. Frick. No, oh, that, that's enough to get rid of this. Well, gonna put you in the back pocket again. Alright. I must say, the bad news is I think I've fucked myself. Ah! I didn't. I saved myself. By being smart and getting more prostrate. And that's divinity right there, you see? Bond energy stat, you gain three energy. And attacks deal triple damage, which is what, something I forgot to mention at the start of the video. So now, I can do Wraith here, but I'll be getting back to 40, which... Well, we'll definitely have enough defense to get rid of it, so I'll be fine. Plus, I get more cards, so... I can build up on that again. It's beautiful. Oh, man. And I got one turn before it does its big bang attack. Shadow Vegeta. Do that. And I got my stance potion, so I'm ready. Okay. Perfect divinity to get... Ah, I should have used Fury of Blows. That was a waste. That was a waste. That was a waste. That was a big waste. But you know what's what? Not a waste. Me winning this. Because I have enough to win this anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm playing Reckless, but it's working. Hey. Now I'm not the biggest addition. Ragnarok. Oh man. You get this with freaking... I can get Diva for him. Hmm. The way my deck is built... Yeah, tough choice. We'll go with Diva form. We can make it work. No longer rest. Can no longer obtain potions. Astrolab. Do I want to transform? Three cards. I want to transform. Eh, screw it. Now should I? I transform all to defend. Why not? Mother level. What did I get there? Perseverance. Collect and Ragnarok. Hey. I'll take it. Astro Lab, good relic. Transform three cards, then those transform cards become upgraded. So now we got upgraded versions of three different cards that are not the starter cards. Mm -hmm. That is about to go stupid. Look at this. The wrath of Thor knows no bounds, mortal. It's gonna ruin the deck chemistry. I'm not gonna go there because it's gonna be a powered up elite. You know, as much as I want to go to the shop, I'm not gonna do that in this video. Sorry. I can live a little, a little dangerous, but I'm not living that dangerous. Not for you guys. Let's see. Uh, damn. Right. I wanted to do the signature move in this mod level, but the spiker, the spiker is annoying. Ways to deal with it. Good ways to deal. Good ways and bad ways. There we go. So now, do that. Say, so take five. I can do this in two, right? Uh, oh, there we go. One, two. I'm gonna do that in two attacks so I didn't take damage. I can get another signature move, but I've gotta get two signature moves. Then I can't use either one, so that'll be pointless. Conclude, I never get this card. I don't get it. You do do damage to all enemies, then you end your turn? 
Wouldn't that be a bad thing? I never understood this card, the purpose of this card. I think this is one of the worst, if not the worst card in the game. Because what can you do with this? There's literally no strategy with this. Why would you want to end your turn by dealing damage to all enemies? There's no, there's no upside to this card. I don't understand. I can get another Sash Whip. Yeah, and my deck is starting to get a little stoofy. I think you're real rid of one. Wouldn't hurt to have two. Ah, oh, this my lover. Three. Two. Oh, frick, there's no way I'm getting one of those frickin'. I'm not getting a parasite in my deck. Not today. Not today. Let's see, random. Oh. Did it say random skills? Okay. Expunger is a skill. Yeah, so I said a skill. Okay. Hmm. Oh, fool oh, frick, that's not enough damage to get it. But, that'd be close enough. Where are we at? Ah, oh, ship. Uh, that's not even gonna. Come on, come on. 64. Die. Yeah, blah. Yeah, blah. Now we're gonna put our faith in you. Twenty. There we go. That was a miracle. How <laughs> I was able to escape taking that much damage. Ugh. Uh, I wish I had a artifact potion for you, but unfortunately I don't. This is gonna suck. I'll upgrade all my cards. That's good. There we go. I'm gonna hate this constricted thing. I'm really gonna hate this constricted thing. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Alright, please. Yes! Great strategy. Great freaking strategy. That was my plan right there. I was planning to get. to use the duplicate, to use the wraith. And hopefully with those two cards, that would be enough damage to pass the hump. I'm gonna need some health, so I'll do that. And I can get this third one, so now I have three strength added to me. Ugh. Now this elite... For some reason the head feels smaller than normal. I'm not sure. Even though it is a giant head. It's supposed to be bigger than that. I don't know. Just, just weird to me. That's all. So do this. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's a nice little perk of this. Whenever I played a card, that adds a stack of my attack cards doing 10% more damage. But it's only for that turn. So right now, if I play Mantra, now my attacks do 10% damage more. And the next thing, if I play... There's flying sleeves. And my attack, next attack does 20% more damage. Now if I do the sash whip, that becomes 30% more, and so forth. You get the point. I'm gonna do this miracle so I can get diva form. And that's just gonna be my miracle for me. So I can do four. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna get this again. Yeah, it's getting a little... Ooh. 10... 27... That's 30. Yeah, you want to watch out for the cards that do a repetition of attacks. Because then... The wraith form and then stacking up with damage. At a certain point, they tend to do more damage than the cards with a base attack. That increases. Just because of repetition. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Let's see. No, call me crazy. Call me crazy. Well, okay. Do these next this. And I'm gonna do this. So I can get one miracle in my hand. 
I can use for this turn. Which is gonna be for this. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Woo! Just right in the nick of time before it got to its full countdown. I will. Uh... Okay, I have another shop on the way, so I'm gonna go here first. I'm gonna get one of the Pro Streets upgraded. So I can give me one more mantra per go around with it. This. This. It's probably dumb to do. But hey! Worked out this time. I'm gonna do this. Transient. Transient. More like freaking. Trans exit. Hmm. Take the power. What we have is a boss. Oh, ah, well. Oh, well. I'll be alright. I don't want to add any more cards. I think 30 cards is fine. So I'm starting to get a little scurs in the order. Oh, frick. Eh, be alright. So two damage, yep. This is where stuff will hit the fan. Yep, we're doing this again. I know. I know. Sue me. Frickin' sue me. Alright. Gonna... Nope, we're gonna leave the so, Gotta play the game. Gonna play it right. We might as well do this too. Oh! Just gonna use that here. Okay. Please? Ah, uh, hate off. Uh, 45 damage. What's the worst? You know what? I'm holding on to stance potion for a while. It's a good time to use it. And then get that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. I've been a little too. A little too much riskin' for the biskin. Well, if I build up on the sink damage. Yeah. This could be good. Ooh, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of cards I gotta go through. Get this damage off. This. 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 Damn, not enough. Not a frickin' enough. Ah. Uh, not a frickin' enough. And I was just about to end it there, too, because look at that. 49, 21, 37 is 58. So I have 11 left. And I don't like risking it that much. It's too much risk for my blood pressure. Alright. 48. So it would have done 96 on me. That's, yeah, that, that would have been death. That one death, crack, cocaine. Alright, yeah. Alright, and uh, it's time to end it. Whew! Let's see, that's the balance right there. Just as the Watcher has that staff and it's blind, you gotta find balance. You maintain the perfect balance. Yeah, that's the best strategy. Well, a good old strategy I want to do here is try to take these out all at the same time. So leaving one, so going for one straight up and killing it, it's not a good way to go. So now, I'm going to do a wreck off. A fancy maneuver. Ah, Hitler. <laughs> Oh no, brow cow. Oh no. I'm howling. Just wondering where I'm now in too. But if I get rid of this, that's 9 damage gone. But this goes up by 8 and 8, so... I'll be taking... 7 more damage, but I can block that with Perseverance. Okay. That's a trade-off I can live with. Hitler, really? Alright, do it. Just did the math in my head. Okay. Oh, mm, okay. 
Would I rather take 16 or rather take 3 damage? I'll take 3. Thank you very much. Yeah, so 24, I can hit it. Well, both of them could kill it. The vulnerable at it, yeah. Alright. None of this. Yep. Okay, so potions. Take that. Take that. Okay. So we get the pen nib. We'll get this medical kit. And should I remove, remove a card from my deck? Maybe to battle him. Because right now, I don't know. Whew, I'm gonna hate myself, but I think we, we got enough. We got a balanced enough deck. I don't need to try to tinker to see if I can get better balance or worse balance with it. We're just gonna stick with what we got. There we go. Whenever I create a card, whenever a card is created, upgraded, that's not good. Gain three strength, gain one less at the start of each turn. That could be great if I can offset that. Ugh. But I don't have the diva form right now, so I can't offset that. Let's do black water. And even now, that's gonna get one more strength. I'm not gonna worry about it for now. I'm not gonna worry about it. Ugh. The strategy here is to attack these cultists before attacking the awakened one. You get rid of them, you get rid of the extra, you get rid of that side muscle, you get rid of that side health. Play another one. I'm be, to be real helpful, strategic with this. Like 14, 14, that does 28, so well, I can kill both of them. Oh, that helps me out, because I want to switch. I want to switch away. You know, probably the better play would have been to hold on to it. Just being a little bit cautious. Oof. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my goodness. I'm being a real risking bisker. Or a risk bisker. I got a stance potion. I got a stance potion. I'm gonna use it. Oh man, there we go. Calm, so instead of how much of a damage I was gonna take, at least 40, 50 something. I don't take that much damage. Yeah, frick. Is there a way where I can do that and also use a devotion? No. Is there not a... Well, technically. If I get this, that's 4. And then that's going to do, instead of 11, that's going to do 22. It's 27, 22. That's not enough. That is weird. Oh, but I'm going to get a rush. 3 and 8 chance to get an attack. Oh, well, I got those attacks too. Okay. Oh, Battle Helm, Devotion. Nothing to change my stance right now, but I'm um, content with that. I am content with that. Am I? I don't know. I have to kill it this turn. Alright, so let me put my Yu Gi Oh boots on. Hmm. It's 84 damage. Even if I block here, that's 15. 15 and 58 is 73. I get 4 block per 3 attacks I play. Right now in my hand, I have 3, 4, 4 attacks. So if I go and attack, I'll get 4 damage there. I have a Sash with which weak applies weak, which reduces the damage about by 25%. So. Because this is originally 42 instead of 84, I had to take 25% from 42, which is, freaking, what is, what is 42? 21 is half 42, so that's 11, no, 10.5, which the game is going to round out to 10. So if I take away 10 from there, that means it's going to take away 20 from that. So 84 is going to become 64. With the 4 block and the 15, I will survive. I have just enough to survive this turn. Alright. Just enough. Just a frick enough. 
<sighs> I'd do a lot of math there. All right. Oh, frick, I had that too. I kind of wasted it on... Well, I had to use one of those two cards. Yeah. That can do. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, frick. That's uh, 62. Uh, these two of these miracles. These perseverance and diva form. Yeah, uh, screw it. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Ooh. Please, please, please. Oh, perfect. Divinity, we're saved. We're freaking saved. I'm gonna need this. Nice. Okay. Ah. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh my god, we're right there! Wait, rush down, rush down, rush down. Yes! Oh my lord. Holy crap. Woo! I got that mother loving Yami Yugi in me. That mother loving Pharaoh in me. That mother loving at tip in me. I think it was at tip. I think it was with it, right? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I finally got a win in one of my tutorial videos. Oh yeah, there you go right there. So, what happens when you defeat all three bosses, you go to the heart. There's a prompt of dialogue in there. It gives a little stance, when you attack it, it shows you the amount of damage you do, and then it shows you how much damage you did throughout your total amount of runs, which I think I did almost 20,000. And then it shows you how much everyone has done that's reached that point to the heart so yeah there you go and spoiler alert that's the secret final boss of this game is the heart we've seen it we made it i don't know how i got speedster i mean victory under 60 seconds okay well there you go i had to be fast just to do it enough for the video Whew, but i done it and then these are the extras you get. Oh my goodness. Yep. And from here, the credits roll. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna. This is perfect for the outro. So we have shown a run of all four characters in this game. Hopefully, I did the best job of explaining each character to the best of my abilities. Ooh, as you saw in this video as well, the stances. Yeah, the stances are very good. The stances can get you out of things depending on how you use them, such as with the Wraith. Every time I enter Wraith, I got two cards, I think two or three cards I draw. The Fury of Blows coming in, whatever it's my discard, if I change stance that comes out. That was very key, that saved me towards the end, entering different stances with the Divinity, which gave me triple attack. Oh my gosh, I thought for sure we were dead. That's the best thing with the Watcher, is understanding the balance. If you don't understand the balance, you may get saved if you have have life insurance policies on there. But yeah, we'll go ahead and end off this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. Please subscribe to become a Treader today. I forgot to mention like the video. I need to start doing that at the beginning of the video instead of the end of the video. But whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, peace.